D, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And welcome to my Hollywood business video where I come to you once a month and I explain um, certain types of things that are going on in Hollywood, but just more of the business side. And for this one, we're going to be talking about the ever-growing battle between Disney and Netflix. So Disney and Netflix are at it round, bing, bing, 45, um, or whatever round it is. Now, this is getting ridiculous because it's, it's continuing to be a fight and people can subscribe to more than one streaming service. And I think... <clears throat> I think they said in an article a little while ago that people want to subscribe to more, they don't want to subscribe to more than three um, streaming services. Um, but I think it's safe to say that Disney and Netflix will pretty uh, much be uh, one of one, if not two of those three. So I don't even know why they're fighting, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but they are fighting, and here's the latest news on that. So. <clears throat> It was announced that Disney had told Netflix quietly um, that uh, they would no longer be uh, uh, sharing any Netflix ads on any of their networks uh, that they want aired on ABC, uh, that they want aired on. So that includes uh, ABC, Fox, Freeform, uh, FX, and FX. Um, no Netflix ads whatsoever. And when this news broke, so they, they quietly said this to them, and I'm pretty sure it was uh, Netflix that uh, divulged this to the public. And it was pointed out on Twitter uh, that during uh, the Oscars last year that aired on ABC, Netflix had purchased a teaser uh, spot for their movie The Irishman, which is a huge Oscar contender this year. Now, I think that it is crazy that somebody would be restricted on a show like the Oscars that just seems like a little bit too far, but it looks like uh, this is going to be Disney's rule for all streaming services because they're like, uh, hey, we're not going to uh, promote a competing streaming service on our networks. Now, this is a very odd situation to be in. I think it's a mistake, so... Uh, as far as uh, it goes. And uh, first off, uh, is anyone really competing with Disney at this point? Um, I mean, because Disney Plus's package is so attractive in such a great price that I don't see if anybody's really competing in the same arena as them. So I think that everybody's going to get it, and I know that, I know that I'm going to get it, um, so there's really no reason for them to do this and have this PR uh, snafu that they're going through. Now, I think that this is just absolutely bonkers uh, to say you can't have a competitor advertise on something that's uh, supposed to be a platform for all audiences. Um, I feel that this is so similar to Disney saying, what if you can't air... Uh, a trailer for another uh, studio's movie in front of their movies, which would be crazy. It would just be crazy. That would just be the, the craziest thing because Disney airs their trailers in front of other studios' movies all the time, all the time. So I just think that it would just be bonkers. It would just be bonkers, cuckoo bananas. Now, I know Netflix doesn't run ads, uh, but what about streaming services from other companies? Um, it's just uh, very odd that they're just turning down advertising money, and Netflix has uh, tons of money to spend, infamously so. I mean, like, they're they are just throwing out money left and right uh, for different for projects, and they can do it for advertising. Um, and I think that it's very odd for viewers uh, that could possibly be censored and I think that you should be able to watch something that you might want to uh, might want to uh, see an ad for <coughs> on a platform that you're paying for, and not getting ads that could uh, be played there might just be an odd feeling for a viewer. So I think that uh, so this is just very interesting to me as far as. Uh, um, ads uh, as far as services go and I think that Disney I think Disney is this is this is definitely a misstep in their in their corner I think that to censor ads just because it's a competitor 
Uh, I mean, why wouldn't you want that revenue to come in? I mean, you there, Disney is spending a ton of money, for instance, on The Mandalorian because they want you to like it. So why not get uh, Netflix to uh, give you a little money back? Uh, to put ads for their stuff on your streaming service. I mean, like, let's be honest. Uh, if you had to pick three streaming services, wouldn't Disney Plus be one of them? I mean, the shows they are going to put out just looks fantastic. Plus, you've got all the Disney movies. Who doesn't love Disney movies? You're crazy if you don't. So this is just a crazy uh, situation. And I mean, like I said, ding, ding let the gloves off and let's do this because it's just going to be, it's just weird slash crazy. So tell me, what do you guys think about this situation with Disney and Netflix and the ads, uh, the advertising situation? Um, uh, uh, thank you for joining me in this on this uh, Hollywood business. You can leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you on the next Hollywood business next month. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.